Now, complete high school football coverage with John Apicello, Alyssa Ray, and Eric Johnson. This is 10 Sports First in 10. Sponsored by Glass & Associates, DeHart Tile, Shules, and Blue Ridge Towers. Week 8 falls on Friday the 13th. Our staff is ready to look past the superstition and get right to the potential horror of it all. Did you know a young boy drowned the year before those two others were killed? The counselors weren't paying attention. Jason should have been watched every minute. Another guy that needs to be watched every minute is our own Jeff Williamson. The web czar has a tendency to inundate you with all the information you need. He's been a counselor at Camp Crystal Lake. So keep that in mind. To the task at hand, and we have no less than five matchups this week where a district lead or a share of the lead is at stake. We'll start tonight with the Three Rivers. Floyd County at Glenver involves two of the three contenders for the top spot, Giles being the other. Eric Johnson was at Glenver High tonight to see if the Highlanders could continue their undefeated run. Eric. Hey, Yappy, you know, this is one of those matchups that was fairly even on paper. Two explosive offenses and stingy defensive play from both sides. All week, both coaches talked about physicality and mental toughness being the difference. And by the looks of it tonight, that clearly was the case. Out to Glimber we go. Flags waving from both sides tonight. Up 7 to nothing. Glimber adds more. Landry Gerbers hits Justin Campbell. He's just across the plane for the touchdown. 13 to nothing. Highlanders lead. Later, second quarter. This is Jack, my favorite Leonard, like a barber. Cuts the edge sharply for his second touchdown. Two-point conversion is good. 21 nothing. Glimber. Floyd County caught a spark on defense here. Drew Wood comes up with the interception. He's going to return this all the way inside the red zone for the Buffaloes. And just one play later, Mr. Austin Gallimore hauls in the touchdown pass. But that would be Floyd County's only score tonight. Glenver forced three interceptions. And defending player of the week, Jack Leonard, ran for 291 yards, four touchdowns, as Glimber rolls 35 to seven. Our kids, you know, took it as a challenge that they were gonna play really physical. And, you know, we, we played we played a really good team right out of the gate in Galax. And um, our, our kids wanted to respond to that. And, and I thought they did. I thought we played physical tonight. We just wanted to come out and play hard. Our D-line did a good job of getting pressure and making them throw balls that were able for um, our D-backs to catch and get interceptions. All right, Glimmer remains undefeated on the season. As impressive as the offense was tonight, the Highlanders' defense was literally everywhere. On the quarterback like Glaze on a donut tonight, and the Buffalo simply couldn't get any momentum going. Glimmer is playing sound football in all phases of the game, and what better time to do it than this late in the season? Happy? And they are going to need it because you know who's coming in next. Giles is the other team to defeat Floyd County tonight. Was their final tune-up before they take a crack at the Highlanders next week. Carroll County is in Spartan football, looking good and feeling good. And here we go. Carroll County trying to hang around in this one. Connor Horton would get free on the outside and go 63 yards for the touchdown. But keep in mind, Giles was in command 47 to 15 at this point. Cavs offense would be snuffed out. Tip ball and Ryan Bottleman, he is everywhere. Not just in the single wing, but on defense. This one goes to Giles as they smack Carroll County 61-15. James River at Allegheny tonight. The Mountaineers, a great host this morning for first and 10. And how about tonight's student section going nuts? James River starts off well. Coulter Hodges keeping it, and he is gone. Goodbye, 60 yards to the house. 6-0 River, but Allegheny would circle the wagons and get it done. Striking back, Zach Humphreys giving it to Marvin Samuel. He breaks the tackle and rumbles on in, 14-6. Allegheny, James River gonna fight back. Hodges going deep, River clonk. We've seen this act before, but Allegheny responds. Humphreys gonna air it out, little tip drill, Anthony Spinks. Coming right into your living room right there. Mountaineers 42-14. Mountain Empire, Galax looking to keep a share of the lead in the district. They do tonight. Joe Howie over Rural Retreat. 
Auburn gets by Bland in overtime, 35-28, and Chiswell, 41-6. Another battle for another district lead, Pulaski County at Blacksburg for the River Ridge lead tonight. Let's get you out, and we're looking at the coin flip, and then Pulaski kicking off to Blacksburg. Ball is going to bounce off Ty Quest Terry and Pulaski's Jossary Eves recovering it near the goal line. Pulaski's Kate Akers going to try and cash it in. He'll fumble the snap, recover it, and then find E.J. Horton in the end zone. 7-6 Pulaski. But Blacksburg, Grant Johnston coming back at you. A little handoff. I think we know Cole Beck has the rock. We know he has the ramble, and we know he has the roll. 13-7 Bruins, and in the second quarter, Johnson going up top for Josh Van Gilder. 64 yards later, the Bruins were on their way to 7-1, 53-28. Hidden Valley at Christiansburg tonight. Now another homecoming, and then Hidden Valley's Jonah Fitzgerald looking to find Kelly Mitchell wide open for the score. He's there, he's got it, he's in there, he scores there. 35-13 Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley widening their lead. Fake handoff keeper, Fitzgerald's got it, 45-20. Titans victorious. PH at Cave Spring tonight. At the half, the 67-68, only undefeated Cave Spring football team honored 10-0. They had 262 points, gave up only 39. Beginning of the third quarter, PH giving it to Josh Taylor, 25 yard run, setting up an easy touchdown right here. Grant Jennings to Kashawn Williams, wide open six. PH would hang on for a 17-14 victory. I told the others they didn't believe me, you're all doomed. You are all doomed in the Seminole District. That's probably true of most. With that schedule, not for the faint of heart. In Vinton, you tend to be doomed when you travel into the dog pound. And in Danville, the Eagle's Nest, not exactly warm and fuzzy to the visitors, plus this. We're the Allegheny Cheerleaders, and you're watching First and Ten with John, Alyssa, and Eric. Woo! To another in a long list of seminal showdowns, Coach Woody's EC Glass crowd at the fast improving Jefferson Forest team, the lone unbeaten team in the district, mind you. And here we go. It's Glass at Forest tonight. And early on, JF kept the game close early. Brad O'Donnell giving it to Keenan Culpit. We know this young man's got speed. JF in the game. 29-22 Glass, but here comes Glass right back. Matthew McCallum going up top, Sackett Wood, 10-yard score, 35-22. Third quarter now, McCallum to Thomas Patterson. Look at him buck. Oh, and a nice cutback move right there. Tough run right there. Glass, 42-22, on their way to a 57-36 victory. What about Heritage? Brad Bradley's gang. With just the one loss to Glass by a mere two points, hosting LCA. Early on, Elijah Davis taking it to the house. Former player of the week, 65 yards out, 6-0. LCA on the next drive. Ryland Stam going deep to Eddie Ogle, who hauls it in in stride. 35-yard touchdown, 7-6. Heritage again, Blake giving it to Davis. Hopscotch move right there, and he's gone for six more. Heritage 42 to 21, your final. Amherst County gets a key win, 42-14 over Liberty. Brookville played on Thursday and defeated Rustburg 27 to 13. Meantime, the defections from the Blue Ridge District have created some in-season home and home series. William Fleming got their fill of William Bird two weeks ago. The second time around, though, tonight it's a district game. So Fleming at Burden, we're in the dog pound lookout. Picking it up in the third quarter, Larry Basham doing exactly what he does. Scoring touchdowns. William Bird up 34-0. Fleming trying to fight back, but here is Hunter Metter. The pick right here and the nice return. Ensuing drive, 
Dylan Hatfield getting it done from one yard out. Bird up 41 0 on their way to the 41 7 victory. But you know what's coming next? It's Bird against River next week. Obviously, they're, they're loaded and rolling, and a uh, week after that's Botetourt, who's right there with them, and a week after that's Northside. So uh, 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 things are tough from here on out. But uh, we got ourselves in the situation now. We'll see. We will see Northside at Stanton River tonight, and give it up for the Vikings who came with a plan and stuck with it. Opening drive right down the field. Princeton Hall, five-yard touchdown, 7-0 Northside. Second quarter, Caleb Jones, 35-yard dash out of that single word. Northside still up 7-6. A few drives later, Grayson Overstreet, the wheel and the showtime deal. 14-7, one score game at the half, but a 51-14 final as Stanton River gets it cranked up in half number two with William Byrd coming next week. Wildcats take a wild one in overtime. Coach Poston gets his fifth win of the season. The Piedmont lead up for grabs tonight with Magna Vista at GW Danville. The Eagles just one loss at Amherst in week two. So keep that in mind as we get you out there. Big test for the Eagles tonight. This is a very emotional rivalry. Halfway through the first, Chris Poole going deep down the sideline. Sean Watlington putting the Eagles up 7-0. Second quarter, Warriors from their own 35, Akira Greenfield. Jaquiel Dalton, but watch closely. The ball gets coughed up. Canarius Waller, 17-0 Eagles. Final drive of the first half. Warriors of Magna Vista trying to make a run for it. Uh, wasn't going to happen. G-Dub shuts out Magna Vista, 45-0, and makes a statement tonight. Halifax County at Franklin County tonight. Eagles cheerleaders ready for another win. Franklin County on the kick return, they were ready. Malik Carter, the entourage, first a series, then a major motion picture. There it goes to the end zone, the entourage for the score. Halifax responds. Ryan Moore going up top, pretty pass. Darius Bowman in stride for the touchdown. But the Eagles keep coming. Caleb Smith to Shane Grindstaff, pretty catch. Keeps the feet in bounds, and then Smith under pressure. Ding, 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 da, da, ding, ding. Rolls on in for the score. 35 28. Franklin County gets another victory. In the Piedmont, Tunstall over Bassett, 35 21. Martinsville handles Patrick County, 38 7. I guess you all know we're the first to return here. Five years, five long years, he's been dormant. It's been at least five years. And then some, Ryan Burgess has been stalking in the control room, always on the prowl for intruders. And the Raiders, they've been on the prowl for three years running. An undefeated William Campbell team would be the next to tangle with Appomattox. Some folks claim they've seen him right in this area. The girl that survived that night at Camp Blood that Friday the 13th, she claims she saw him, she disappeared two months later. Eric, what Appomattox has not done is disappeared. They lost that tough game to Heritage, physical tough game, and they, and they ended their win streak, but they've been right back on the horse and this rolling is, again. That's exactly right, Appy. And when you got to admit, that was a, a tough Heritage team. Sure. So that's a loss that kind of looks okay, but as you said, ever since then, it's just like the song. They've literally kept on trucking after that. Yep. Let's get you out to the highlights of this one. Appomattox hosting William Campbell. Javon Scruggs is going to keep the rock. Runs 50 plus yards. Check him out. Bulldozing over a couple of folks there. Scoring on their first drive of the game. Later, William Campbell's going to try to answer. But check this out. It's an interception right into the hands of Colin Shaw. Nice pick there. And later is Mr. Scruggs yet again with the carry. And he goes into the ref. Oh, right here on the side hole. Needless to say, his arms go up and that's a touchdown. William Campbell finally scored later, but it wasn't nearly enough. They lose to the Raiders 68 to 28 tonight. Check out a few other local scores. Gretna took down Alta Vista last night, 33-19. Dan River on top of Chatham, 42 to 20. Meantime, let's go to Ragsdale Field, home of the Green Wave. In for this one, slow start to the game, but special team steps it up early for the Mustangs. Check out Zach Sled, beams a punt, followed by great hustle here. It's down 
at the one yard line by Daniel Crawford. Eastmont couldn't get their offense together. The long pass. This is going to be picked off by Gavin Pruitt. Mm. Nice hands on the play there. Who will take it all the way back into Mustangs territory. Narrows Michael McKinney would knock off the drive with the five yard touchdown. The Green Wave take the 7-0 lead and just doesn't stop. They go on to win 35 to 14 over Eastmont tonight. Other local scores, Pioneer District, Covington, all over Perry McClure, 50 to 28, and Bath County over Craig County, 20 to 14. First win for Bath County. Absolutely, the Celtics, the true road warriors this year, 6-0, six, oh, six straight road games to open the season. They finally got home tonight for homecoming at Vineyard Park. So, yeah, some risky business in the house. Rono Catholic and Hargrave. Hargrave's Connor Rogers scrambling and keeping, and he's in for a six-yard touchdown. 7-0 Hargrave. Coach Bob Price's gang, though, gonna regroup and go. Again, up our trailing 7-0. Bryant Guilford, eight-yard touchdown. Alex Vaught hauls it in. Two-point conversion good. 8-7 Celtics. Second quarter, 8-7 Catholic Hargrave's Connor Rogers. Throw to lateral, that is scooped up by Alex Vaught and he takes it home, 16-7. A little bit later on, this is Sean Grandy, 66-yard touchdown. Rono Catholic, 44-14, the beat goes on. 7-0 now, every, every week's a new week. We just gotta come back to work every week and get better, learn from what we, what our mistakes are in the previous week and just try to get better every, every day. All right, VES falls at Fishburn, 36-18, and North Cross, a winner at, or against Atlantic Shores, 22-6, was your final. 